Only on five, the family of the 20-year-old shot yesterday by a Boynton Beach police officer says they've not been allowed to see their son in the hospital. Investigators say the man brandished a handgun during a traffic stop, forcing the officer to shoot. News Channel 5's Brian Inton spoke to the suspect's father and is live at the Boynton Beach police station. Brian? Michael, the parents say their biggest concern right now is that they are not allowed into Delray Medical Center to see uh, their son. They say that he is a motivated college student, but according to police reports, officers have been to that house before. Since right now we don't see Robbins, we don't know if he's dead or anything right now. Robbins Estime's family is in disbelief. They are not allowed to see the 20 year old and they don't understand the circumstances that led up to a Boynton Beach police officer shooting him. So my son is two there in, in uh, Public State College, then he's walking. He's going to school, then he's walking. He's home every day. Boynton Beach police say Officer Corey Herney shot Estime after he brandished a gun during a traffic stop early yesterday. The police chief says Herney's decision to shoot was the right call. Give us a chance so we can speak with the lawyer. Then we give you some information. In September of last year, reports show Boynton Beach police officers went to Estime's house in reference to a fight with an unknown weapon. He was arrested for resisting officers, but the charges were later dropped. We don't just... know anything about what happened. And we were not able to uh, get the officers' personnel records today because Boynton Beach City Hall is closed on Fridays. We do know that the officer uh, has a lot of awards. He was honored because he saved someone's life on the railroad tracks recently. He has also been named uh, Officer of the Month before. Live in Boynton Beach, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.